When Viking rulers reigned in medieval Russia, they didn't just stick to the west, they also made their mark in Eastern Europe. They played a key role in creating the Kievan Rus, a federation of principalities that lasted for almost 400 years before falling to the Mongol invasion in the 13th century. When Viking rulers were in charge of medieval Russia, they established Kievan Rus in the mid-9th century. However, Scandinavian settlements in Eastern Europe can be traced back to at least AD 750. The pre-Viking Age Scandinavians likely settled in the northwestern Russian town of Staraya Latiga, across Lake Latiga from what is now Finland. Archaeologists have found a talisman with the face of Odin, the Norse god of war, among the artifacts unearthed from the city. According to scholar Thomas S. Noonan, the early Scandinavians were drawn to Latiga by the presence of Islamic silver coins or dirhams. The regular flow of Islamic dirhams from Russia to Scandinavia via Latiga began in the early 9th century, providing further evidence of a Viking presence in Latiga long before 840. When Viking rulers, also known as Varangians or Rus, took control of Slavic tribes in what is now known as Kievan Rus after 840, the region was split between three noble brothers. Rurik, the oldest, settled in Novgorod, Sinius in Belizero, and Truver in Izborsk. The Russian Primary Chronicle, a historical account completed by Kievan monks in the 12th century, credits these Varangians for giving Novgorod the name Land of Rus. After Rurik's brothers died, he claimed their land and made Novgorod the capital. When Rurik passed away, his successor Prince Oleg of Novgorod, also known as Oleg the Prophet, conquered Kiev in 882 and moved the capital from Novgorod to Kiev. Oleg not only expanded Kievan Rus by capturing new territories but also boosted its wealth by striking a beneficial trade deal with Constantinople, the capital of the Byzantine Empire. The name Russia is believed to have originated from an old Nordic word for men who row. When Viking kings and queens ruled medieval Russia, archaeological findings confirm some of the stories in the Russian primary chronicle. However, historians advise taking the chronicle's tales with a pinch of salt, as some of them may be exaggerated or mythical. One such story is about the death of Oleg. The chronicle claims that a prophecy predicted that one of his horses would kill him. To avoid this fate, Oleg never rode that horse. But after expanding Kievan Rus territory and trade, he became overconfident and decided to test his luck. When he found the horse's bones and mockingly stomped on its skull, a serpent emerged and bit him, leading to his death. After Oleg, there was a period of trouble for the royals. His successor, Igor of Kiev, was killed by a tribe due to his high tribute demands. His wife, Olga, then took over. Olga's next actions are likely more on the mythical side. She was furious with the tribe that killed her husband, so she allegedly tricked their emissaries into being buried alive. She also reportedly burned a group of their wise men alive in a bathhouse.